Hey, this is a quick tip for anyone who uses gradients in Flash. And I'll just start by making an example gradient. I'll start by making a linear gradient and I'll make it go from gray to white. So for people who make gradients in Flash, you might wonder how come I'm only allowed to edit the gradient so it goes from left to right and it can only work horizontally. Well actually there's a new tool out now where you can edit gradients quite a bit. And it's up here and it's called the gradient transform tool. So I'm just going to click that and click the gradient. And so you get a few options here which you can mess around with and edit the gradient in more detail. So you've got the anchor point which is just the center point of the gradient. So if I want to shift the gradient to the left for example, it's going to shift it all and then cut off here. And you can shift this up or down, whatever you want, and it will shift all of the gradient to the desired location. Just undo that. Okay, so you've also got the rotation tool. And like I said before, for people who think you can only edit the gradients from left to right and horizontally, you can just rotate this to 90 degrees and I'll just move this back to the area and you've got the gradient going from top to bottom so that's sorted. All right, I'll just delete this now let's check out the radial gradient so I'll just make a circle for this and I'll change it to radial gradient I'll go back on the gradient transform tool and so you essentially get the same options but just set out slightly differently because it's a different shaped object uh, so you've got the rotation tool but of course this is a circle so it won't actually affect it whatsoever and then you've got the scale tool so for example if I wanted more grey in this gradient I'll just increase it so it shows more but then you get less of a contrast because it's mostly grey you can also individually edit this as well like this so you can change the shape of the gradient if I want to make it wider and of course you've got the anchor point as well so you can change where the center of the gradient starts and ends so this is just a quick look at the gradient transform tool and it's a, it's a really useful tool so I hope this tutorial helped and if you want to see more videos like this please subscribe